What the? Come on, Brixie. It's your turn to bed. Fall asleep here. I'm thinking. That must have hurt. Not much as your face, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I've got feelings, you know. <laughs> Here's 50, and I raise you comedians another 50. 50? And another 50. Ah, uh, I'll move. Yep, me too. Looks like it's just you and me, kid. I'll pay you the hundred and I'll raise you another fifty. Cool. Take five. Just pop into the little boys' room. Need a hand? Fours and your tight bricks. Sometimes I'll worry about you two. Refill anyone? No, I'm good, man. Yeah. So, Joe, what's your part in the police department? I'm one of the computer engineers. I maintain all the computer systems. Hmm, interesting. How about you? Well, I'm a retired businessman. I'd run a company for 40 years. Ah, cool. What about you, Jones? Where do you fit in all this? Work in admin. Same place, but just different department. Hmm, I see. Right, you horrible lot. Let's get ready to lose some money. Get dealing, Jonesy. I hear you've been spying. Is this true? No, it's not. You must be mistaken. Not according to my men. I don't take kindly to people sticking their nose in where you don't belong. So tell me, what were you doing? If you must know, I was bird watching. It's a hobby of mine. I don't believe you. Look, as I said, I was bird watching until this moron turned up. Leave him. I think it would be wise for you to tell me the truth. If you wish to walk out of your life. Is that a threat? No. That's a promise. I've heard enough of this crap. Sit down. We've not finished. your stupid questions. You're a brave man. You must be tired of living. 
Take him away. I have no more use for him. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. Well? Look, okay. I work for the British intelligence. Go on. A few days ago, we received some information from Interpol, informing us you were heading for the UK. The state security in Beijing asked us to keep tracks of your movements and try and find out what your intentions were for actually being here. <laughs> I see. I've read the reports about you. And we know who you are. Shen. You're just another sadistic, brutal, evil man with a horrible reputation. <laughs> okay then, Shen. What's your story? What? Why are you here? My business is none of your concern. That's where you're wrong. It's my duty to make sure the people of this country and the businesses are kept safe from people like you. Do you not get it? We don't want you here. Why don't you just leave? I will leave when I'm ready. But until then, I'm not going anywhere. Let him go. Just remember, Shen. We're watching you. Now, come on. I'm hungry. Where are we going to eat? Five more minutes, honey. Just waiting for Grandad Briggs to come. If he ever turns up. It is a friendly game. Well, it don't seem that way to me. Well, I guess it's up to him what he does with his money. Come on, guys. I thought we were all friends. It's your money. You might lose everything. It's getting a bit too serious for my liking. How much is impossible already? Too much. Possibly two Gs. Maybe more. Guys, I'm trying to think here. You can fold, you know. I'll let you have all my lovely money. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want to re-raise three grand all in. Briggs, what are you doing? You haven't got three grand. He's right. Let's end this now. No. Like I said, I'll raise three grand. How are you going to do that? There's the case we can. Whoa, hang on. You're not thinking straight. Come on, Briggs. Oh, I can't. Leave it. I said leave it. Jones, let him play. He's not going to let him down. Are you going to make the bet? I'll throw in the towel. All right, if that's what you want. Come on, pal. Tell me again. For heaven's sakes, Briggs. It's your last chance to back out. 
okay? I call them. This is pure madness. Right. It's time to show your cards. Eighty queen. Flush. Well, you win some, and you lose some. Whoa, hold your horses. King flush, straight high. No hard feelings, Brex. Best man wins. Well, I guess that's time for me to go. Sorry, Brex. Me too. <clears throat> Sir, we've managed to identify that body found in the Bridgewater Canal. It's Maurice Campbell. Mm, Maurice Campbell. That name rings a bell. He was one of our British intelligence, sir. Ah, of course. Do we have any idea of what happened to him? Apparently, he was working on a case to find out why the Chinese Mafia were in the UK. We don't know exactly if his death's related, but according to the coroner's report, his throat had been slit, got his left hand missing, and two fingers on his right hand. Mm. Sounds pretty grim. Let me know if there's any further development. Will do, sir. You see the chief? Oh, yeah, he's in the office. What's the rush? What is it, Jones? Well, uh, I don't know how to tell you this. Come on, man, spit it out. It appears a computer hard drive containing vital information on the identities of Chinese organised criminals across the globe has gone missing, Chief. What? You've got to be kidding me. And what's more, the main computer system backup containing the information has totally been erased. This is disastrous. How the hell did this happen? Well, uh... Call security immediately. Tell them what's happened and make sure nobody leaves this building without being fully searched. I'm right on it, Chief. Oh, that's me done. I'm beating Sandra at the pub. You coming? Sorry, kiddo. I'll have to give it a miss. Too much on. What's up? You've been working late for last month. Do you need a hand with anything? Nah, something I have to do myself. You need my assistance? I'm on your desk away. Send my love to Sandra. Will do, Briggs. You know she'd be very disappointed not to see you.
So I can't change your mind. <laughs> I want to speak to Chet. It's Briggs. He's expecting my call. Chen, it's Briggs. Everything will be ready by tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. New tomorrow. How will I know it's you? Okay, as I agree, bring the 250,000 in cash with you. You Briggs? Yeah. Who's asking? I'm Max. And you're here to see Shane. Who's he? You were told to come alone. Don't mind him. There's no need to be worried, Briggs. Unless you have something else on your mind. Not at all. I just don't like hidden surprises. Now, can I see Chen? Chen has been called out to a business meeting at the last minute. Look, I've been fucking driving for 200 miles. You better not be wasting my fucking time. Rest assured, Briggs, Chen has trusted me to do the deal for him. It is unfortunate he could not be here himself. Shall we continue? Since I'm here. Good. Do you have the computer hard drive? Want to see the money? It's all there, 250 grand, as agreed. Mm, nice, very nice. No, I don't believe you, but uh, can I check it? Go and check the money. Okay, Briggs. It's all good, Briggs. Have you got a deal? Seems you got a deal. I trust all the information is in here. Absolutely. Excellent. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Chief, just had reports back from Head of Securities. And? What did they say? Well, it seems that one of our computer engineers was updating all old hard drives and new ones. And it just so happened that his last job was the missing hard drive and that he hadn't transferred the data across because he was on his lunch break at the time. So basically, what you're telling me is the missing hard drive? That's no good to anybody? Yes, that's correct, Chief. Well, thank God for that. We also believe it was an inside job, Chief. We think it's someone who has close links to this information. Uh, we also think that it's someone who has access codes to our main computer system and also to the main computer room. But pure luck, we still have all the data stored on our original hard drive. Are you sure about that? Yeah, everything's back to normal, Chief. I can feel a major headache coming on. Will that be all? Yes, Jones. I don't think I can take another day of this. Oh, Jones, you've done a great job. You saved my arse once again. Louise, could you call to the office, please? Another hard day at the office, Jones. As always, Louise, as always. You want me, sir? Could you print out all the names of all the persons who have got access to our main computer room, please? I'll do it straight away, sir.
Excuse me, Blaze. Blaze? Yeah. You've got a light, have you? No, sorry, no. I'm sorry. Oh, all right, cheers. No worries. Thanks. Shut the fuck up. What? Open the door. What? Open the door. Get in. Get in. I'm watching you, don't do nothing fucking stupid. I fucking buckle up. Fuck is going on. So shut the fuck, the fuck up, didn't I? What the hell's going on? What the hell is this about? I can have you arrested for this. <laughs> the comedian. I don't think you're in a position to make that kind of threat. What is it you want? Do you know who I am? No, I don't, but I guess you're going to tell me anyway. I am Chien, Lao Chien, and you have something that belongs to me. What are you talking about? Do you know what this is? It's a computer hard drive. It's the same hard drive you gave to Max. What about it? This hard drive is blank. What? What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me, Briggs. People can easily die when they dishonor my trust. Now wait a minute, Chen. Every single data is on that disk which you asked for. So where is it? I don't know, honestly. I just don't know. Since I don't have it, I want all my money back. £250,000 plus interest for wasting my time. What? Are you serious? I'm always serious. Now, when can I expect my money? I haven't got it. Wrong answer. I will ask you again. When can I expect my money? I haven't got it. I just want my money. Where the hell am I going to get a can of cash from? That's not my problem. That's your problem. I just can't do it. I need more time. Very well. What the hell are you going to do with that? Hold him down. Chad, what are you doing? Put his right arm on the table. Oh. Ah, ah. Open your hand. What are you doing? I said, open your hand. Ah. Now, when can I expect my money? For God's sake, Chad, please! I said, when can I expect my money? Look, I haven't got it! I've already told you, I haven't got any more! End of! Ah, shit! Put his left hand out. When can I expect my money? I said, when can I expect my money? You dirty evil bastard! You're gonna pay for this! Go on! Do it! Do it if you dare! You're never ever gonna get your money back! Do you hear me? Loud and clear. 